Quinn under no pressure, just heads it down to John Ross Wilson. Again, the ball's forward to Kyle Robinson. Robinson into the 18 yard box. Oh, it's come off the crossbar. They got the better of Mark Conley on that occasion. Cole lifts it into the 18 yard box. Oh, Adam O'Reilly was just coming in behind uh, Ledwidge. He was just unsighted. Boyce helps it on this way, but he can't quite pick out. Doherty is also an option, throws it overhead. Mark Coyle is on Michael Duffy's shoulder. And Jack Moylan back down a bit of defensive duties, gives it away to Cameron Dummigan. He gets the laces behind it from the left foot, but yeah, unfortunately just, just goes wide. Good strength from Dummigan. Held him off, unfortunate with the shot. Again, ideally should be hitting the target, at least testing the keeper. It's an interesting tussle as well because uh, Cameron Dummigan has been everywhere that Jack Moylan has went tonight, so maybe Rory thinking of a man to man marking. The ball is whipped into that six yard box. It's when he falls to Ben Doherty. Ben finds Adam O'Reilly. And that's another one for the commentator to uh, not draw attention to as it was poor and they end up from the, the dairy midfield. Yeah, no one really need to rush it either. He yeah. pl had plenty of time and space. I don't think he realised that half the Shelburne squad were trying to make their way out of the 18-yard box as well, Peter. So as you say, he did have more time than maybe he thought he did. Yeah, because unfortunately for him, it's going to go the way of Derry City in the shape of a free kick out. That was good line by the Derry back four. Yeah. Mark Connolly takes it quickly. Michael Duffy has stayed on side. Duffy lifts it over the top of Connor Cairns. Oh, and it's cleared up a line by John Ross Wilson in the end of a brilliant bit of play by the young right back for That's Shelburne. Experience. It was fully committed in the way going back. I think he knew exactly what Michael Duffy was going to do when Cairns had committed himself. But Duffy had just sprung the offside track, lifts it over the ball, maybe a bit too soft. As Michael Duffy gives the instructions. Looks at the edge of the six yard box. Cameron McJanet gets ahead to it as again cleared. And Mark Conley gets a flashing shot, but that's going to be a cool kick to Shelburne. But certainly, probably the best scoring opportunity of the night, Peter. We, I know Shelburne have had the, the, the upright, but uh, in terms of on target. Yeah, well, Michael, you, Michael couldn't do any more. Runs on the sea of red and white jerseys as Cameron Ledwich clears long downfield. Shane Farrell was first to react to it as Kieran Cole sort of dallied behind him. Oh, that's a big appeal for a penalty, and it's given by Rob Hennessy. Kieran Cole from behind Shane Farrell just swung his leg out. He did make contact with the ball. But Rob Hennessy, he thought about it for a second and then eventually pointed to the spot that's going to be a penalty to Shelburne in yeah, the 35th minute. Don't know from this distance whether there was contact or not, but again, he's given the referee a decision to make. We'll just see from the replay. Really, if he just stands up now, just stands up. See, he, did, he didn't make contact because I don't think the ball, the flight of the ball moved, Peter. So it's going to be a, Sh a Shelburne penalty. So Farrell with an opportunity to break the deadlock here at the Brandywell in front of his own fans. Shane Farrell steps up, takes it. Oh, it's a good save by Brian Maher. He just got a toe to it. I don't know how he got a toe to it, Peter, but he's kept the side's level. Yeah, just, I think that <coughs> the Shells player tried to go down the middle and young Maher got a, a foot to it. Now, why the Shelburne fans are probably wondering that Jack Moylan allow Shane Farrell to take it. It was a cheeky chip. <laughs> Showing their appreciation of the noise been knocked off as Michael Duffy down the left side gets past John Ross Wilson plays it in the box, and it's a firm header, and they end up, I think it was Ben Doherty who met it, but he just Great couldn't ball quite... by young Michael Duffy, he done well, just stood it up, and again, just couldn't get it down. But ben Doherty rose the highest, he met it with a firm header, he just couldn't get it on target. Thanks, Boyce. Left back to right back, Boyce lifts it under the 18 yard box. Jamie McGonigal with a header, oh, and it's brought the best out of Connor Cairns as he gets down to his left hand side and prevents the ball from entering the net the score remains Derry City 0, Shelburne 0 good save by the Shelburne keeper but good play by Derry as well and this time they have three or four players in the box which is good to see as Michael Duffy peels away from one tries to get past two, threads it under McGonagall McGonagall gets his shot away I don't think he realised that his angles were too acute from that angle and the ball goes wide of uh, Connor Cairns' upright 
So Ben Doherty will make way for Ryan Graydon. We'll just keep an eye on that for you as Michael Duffy prepares to take this free kick. Duffy under the penalty spot. Oh, that's a fine header from Kieran Cole in the process. But he just couldn't quite get it. And Connor Cairns gets a touch on it over his crossbar. Yeah, if anything, it was just too, too straight, too in the middle of the goal for the keeper. I don't think he made a clean contact on it either, Peter. But no, uh, no. As Adam O'Reilly gets away from Hakiki and finds Patrick McElhinney. Shadowed as ever by Mark Coyle. Michael Duffy shifts on to his right, gets his shot away, but it's wide of Connor Cairns' is upright, and that's going to be another goal kick. Kian Kavna about to enter the fray for Derry City, so a change coming from Rory Higgins. Michael Duffy has to scamper across as Hakiki got to it first. Hakiki slips it under the path of the aforementioned Wilson, and it's a decent shot in the end up, but unfortunately for him, it was just over the head, over the bar of uh, Brian Maher's goal. Yeah, it was half a chance, but probably on his weaker foot. You just see from the replay, he's got the better of Patrick McElhinney, fastened a yard for himself and left footed. Just couldn't keep it down. As Jordan McEnough heads it in. Michael Duffy, oh, he just pulls the trigger, pulls the left foot, but he just couldn't quite get it on target, and the ball goes beggingly wide. Yeah. And usually, you know, Michael is technically very, very good, but just we lack of composure at the final minute. Yeah, there's a flick on by Kean Kavner, but Duffy just couldn't quite capitalize on it. I think it's Michael Duffy who will take it. So can Michael Duffy break the deadlock with the last action here at the Brandywell? Duffy right footed, gets his shot away, and that's a save from Connor Cairns in the end up, but it makes no difference as Rob Hennessy. Brings proceedings to a close. It's finished at the Brandywell. Derry City nil, Shelburne nil. The final chance falling to Michael Duffy with that free kick, as you can see. The Derry players are protesting that maybe they should have had the free kick, or sorry, the corner kick. But Rob Hennessy had said that it was over the 94 minutes from when the free kick was taken. And the game ends in a scoreless draw.